In the upper right arm, he holds a little drum, which is the drum which summons things into creation. You beat upon this drum, and things come into existence. In his left arm, he holds a fire, which is what destroys everything. He both creates and destroys. <laughs> Casey, the band is called Timothy Erie, and uh, the genre, I suppose, we'll call it psychedelic pop. Yeah, I like that. Searching for something to take you higher. It's the name Timothy Erie. It's based on Timothy Leary, so uh, he's a spokesperson from the late 60s counterculture, pretty passionate about what he believed in, which is respectable. And in this case, he was talking about some pretty forward thinking, uh, psychedelic use to reach higher levels of consciousness and intelligence. I think it's almost like our purpose as humans to uh, figure out different ways of thinking. And just because he kind of took a situation that most people would probably look at pretty negatively, being thrown in prison constantly, not being able to avoid the law and turned it into something beautiful that worked for him and it allowed him to have time to himself where he could really kind of escape the world. Turn on, tune in, and drop, drop out. have a different band and a different lineup because I like to say yes to every opportunity that I get for the band and sometimes not everybody's available so I write the songs myself and, and kind of map them out the way I want them and, and I have other people bring their own kind of style to it so the songs can be reincarnated in these different ways depending on who's playing them so it's really fun and it keeps it, it just keeps it interesting and keeps it different. We have Mike Sidney on drums, so he's really the constant, uh, myself and him, but everybody else is kind of always just, um, yeah, circulating around. My songwriting comes from, sometimes it comes out of nothing and it's just maybe made to be interpreted, um, but a lot of times I would say it comes more from sadness and some of the more dark emotions, as I find when you're feeling kind of down, you're feeling kind of depressed, you have more of this urge to like get it out and you need to like find some form for it. And when you're happy, you're just really, you're just there, you're just enjoying life. My name is Safra Servian, I'm the art director for Timothy Erie. I do all the artwork for their promotions, band art, and their merchandise. My works start with watercolor and pen and ink when it comes to Timothy Erie. Uh, I do a couple like colored pencils and pen and ink work, but for the most part it's all digitally but when it comes in uh, reference to poster, like when they have like shows coming up, I do a lot of um, digital works for that. For instance, of the Great Depression single release, I had a painting of a girl like properly praying, and then uh, in the background, I had like some digital work to it. So I kind of like combined the two. I've been the visual artist since the beginning of Timothy Erie. So he came to me, asked me about the name, and then he, once he saw like my artworks, um, he said he wanted his band to sound like my art. Jeffrey does all the visual artwork while on tour with everybody. So when Casey plays a show, Jeff is there doing the visual artworks, like putting on the atmosphere of the music. Timothy Erie is a series, so 
the little character of Timothy Erie, he's like my little man that I like travel through worlds and like makes him do all these crazy things. In a sense, I've made Casey a whimsical version of Timothy Leary, of maybe the life Timothy Leary was trying to go for. I think that visual art goes hand in hand with music. All of Sapphire's artwork has really been pretty important to the recognizable kind of nature of the project Timothy Erie. Jeff also has been very pivotal to the recent developments of the band and using live projections at the concerts and creating this sort of like disorienting feeling for people when they're watching. So these things are super important and as, as I go on playing music I'm starting to realize it really needs to be there. This has to be there.